The height of the equilateral triangle below is 15 units. What is the value of x? So they're telling us that this length is 15 units, the height. And we're supposed to find x. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways of solving this. If you know your special triangles, then the easiest way to find x is to use your knowledge of special triangles. And the special triangle that is relevant to this problem is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's say that this is 30 degrees and this is 60 degrees and this is 90 degrees. Then the pattern that you were supposed to memorize is uh, all about starting with the short leg. So I'm going to call the short leg N, and that's going to be across from the smaller angle. So I know the N will be across from the 30. Um, the hypotenuse is always going to be double that. So whatever the short leg is, the hypotenuse will be double that length. And then we've got the longer leg, which we can also get from the shorter leg, because we start with the shorter leg, and then we multiply by radical 3. So for example, if I knew that the shorter leg was, let's say, 7, then the hypotenuse would be 14, 2 times 7. And then the long leg would be 7 radical 3. Okay, so we can use that knowledge to help us find x, all right? x is the hypotenuse. Well, I guess I am leaving out one small detail. Um, they told us equilateral triangle. They didn't give us any angles. So why am I thinking that a 30, 60, 90, 90 triangle is going to be relevant? Well, if they tell us that we have an equilateral triangle, that means that all three sides are the same. If all the sides are the same, that means all of the angles are the same as well. Now, we know that all of the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So if we have three angles that are the same, we can find out what they are by dividing 180 by 3. And that turns out to be 60 degrees. So any time you have an equilateral triangle, you're looking at a triangle that has three 60 degree angles. So it would be 60, 60, and 60. Um, I'm not going to draw this 60 right here because if we draw an altitude straight down, then that uh, 60 degree angle at the top gets split into two 30 degree angles. So if you look at just one side of any equilateral triangle, it is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So that's what we have here. So this will be 60 degrees and this is 30 degrees. Okay, so now just transferring this over to my little model here. Um, now remember, we always start with a short leg. We'll call it N. Then the hypotenuse will be 2N. And the long leg is N radical 3. Okay, now one of these sides we actually know the answer to. We know how long it is. And that is the long leg. The altitude is 15. So that means that this side right here is equal to 15. Well look, that gives us a tiny little equation here. 15 is equal to n radical 3. So we should be able to use this to solve for n. Um, all we have to do is divide both sides by radical 3. Okay, that will cancel out the radical 3's. So this is n. Um, so n is 15 over radical 3. So that means that the short leg right here is equal to 15 over radical 3. Now, remember, once we know n, 
then we can do 2n for the hypotenuse. So um, if n is 15 over radical 3, then 2n should be 2 times 15 over radical 3. Uh, well, that's just going to equal 30 over radical 3. Okay, now, none of the answers, whoa, okay, I started to say none of the answers say 30 over radical 3, but there it is right there. I'm not sure why I started to say that. So the answer should be this last one. Okay, so to me, that's the quickest way to find the answer. Um, However, that relies on you knowing your special triangles and having the pattern memorized. Now, let's say you didn't memorize that and you don't know your special triangles. Everyone knows the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so you could use the Pythagorean theorem instead. Okay, so let's see how we could use the Pythagorean theorem to solve this and get the same answer. Okay, so uh, we know that this side is 15, right? Because I'm just copying over this triangle right here. So this side is 15. We know that this side is x. Uh, now, what about this side right here? Well, um, we don't know what that is. But we know that it is half of whatever x is. So it's going to be x over 2 or I could have put 1 half x okay uh, because remember we're talking about an equilateral triangle so that means if this side right here is x that means this side over here is x that means this side right here is also x all right x x and x um, but by dropping an altitude right down the middle then we're splitting this side into two equal parts so this side should be one half x, and this side should be another one half x. All right, so that's what I'm looking at. So now I should be able to do the Pythagorean theorem: uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 15 squared plus x over 2 squared is equal to x squared. So uh, if we solve this for x, that should be the answer. But how do we do that? So, uh, well, 15 squared is 225. All right, x over 2 squared. I'm just going to square the numerator and the denominator. So I have x squared over 4. And that's equal to x squared. Um, the denominator is making me uncomfortable. So I'm going to multiply everything by 4 so that I won't have any more denominators. So I'm just going to multiply everything by 4, but right here the 4's will cancel each other out. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to bring this equation up. So if we multiply um, 225 by 4, that's going to be 900. So we will have 900 plus x squared is equal to 4x squared. Um, now we're trying to solve for x. So let's subtract x squared from both sides to pull these like terms together. So that'll give us 900 is equal to 3x squared. Okay, um, now that's going to give us, uh, well, if we divide both sides by 3, okay, that's going to give us 300 is equal to x squared. So then we just have to take the square root of both sides. So that's going to give us, um, the, well, the square root of 300. So x is equal to square root of 300. Um, this will simplify down to, um, well, 300 is 100 
times 3. Okay, so that's going to be the same thing as 10 radical 3. Okay, so this is the answer. Now, of course, I look over and I see that none of these say 10 radical 3. Okay, but yet one of them has to be uh, equivalent to 10 radical 3. Well, um, notice that the first two answers have a radical 3 right there. So there's no way that 15 radical 3 is the same thing as 10 radical 3. So I can throw that out. There's no way that 30 radical 3 is the same thing as 10 radical 3. So I can throw that out. So it's just between these two. Um, well, let's rationalize the denominator. If I have um, 15 over radical 3, uh, if I want to see another form of this, I can just multiply by radical 3 over radical 3. That's going to give me 15 radical 3 over 3. A radical times itself is just the number inside. And that's going to give me 5 radical 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 radical 3 does not equal 10 radical 3. So that's not the answer either. Okay, but looking at this last one, um, again, let's rationalize the denominator. 30 over radical, th radical 3. If I multiply by radical 3 over radical 3, that's going to give me 30 radical 3 over 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. That's 10 radical 3. That's the same thing as what we got. So this is the answer. All right, now I told you that the first way I showed you was going to be quicker. So if you know your special triangle knowledge, that's definitely the way to go.